How's it going guys? Another from Kicking Their Bass TV here with the Q&A number two. Um, you guys requested me to do some more of these so I'm going to um, keep at it. Every couple of weeks I'll do a QA and a and I'll answer you guys' questions. So let's go ahead and start with the questions. Favorite pro on the Elite Series? Um, by GoPro Noah. I like your name, man. My name's Noah. I like GoPros too. Um, favorite pro on the Elite Series? It would have to be probably Brandon Polnick. Um, I really look up to him and he's a pretty cool guy. I um, got to talk to him a lot when we were working at the Rigid booth at the Bassmaster Classic. He's a really cool dude. Uh, makes some pretty sick videos as well. I can relate to him. He's one of the younger anglers, so um, I can relate. Favorite species to catch other than bass? Um, to be honest, I mostly fish pretty much bass, but if there's another type of fishing, I kind of like just um, honestly just sitting on the bank just casting out like for catfish or really anything that bites. I enjoy doing that as well. It's kind of relaxing knowing that when I'm fishing for bass, I'm really fast paced. So I, I also like to do um, silver fishing like that. How do you make your baits? Do you pour them yourself um, like molds? I do not um, pour my baits. I have somebody make them for me. As in bigger company wise. So they're really high quality. Have you ever fished for crappie or walleye? Um, we were going to fish for some crappie last year, and that just never turned out. Um, I'm sure we're going to go this year, but I would really like to. Not really. And uh, walleye, I haven't fished for walleye. We've caught a few walleye on Lanier. On some crankbaits, actually, fishing for bass. Um, would you rather catch spotted bass, largemouth bass, or smallmouth bass? If I could layer it down to one, um, it would have to be spots. Um, they're really aggressive, really fun, and on Lanier, man, when that top water bite's on, they're just going crazy. They're like sharks just hitting the top water five foot out of the air. It's really aggressive fishing. Um, I love fishing for spots, and I'm thankful enough to live five minutes away from Lanier, so if I want to go out there, fish for some spots, I can. How'd you make it big so fast? Um, to be honest, I'm not anywhere where I want to be right now. I want to be way bigger than I am now. But um, consistency is the key for the most part. Just keep on posting videos. If you're doing YouTube, if you're doing social media, just keep active with your posts. Um, try to reach out to as many people as possible. Try to get your name out. What's your favorite crappy fishing tactic? If I fish for crappy, I, would, I could tell you, man. I'm sorry. How to find fish and grass fast? Um, for the most part, I would look for structure. So you see some trees down. Um, say it comes off like a point on some grass, like look, look for, um, things that stick out for the most part. That's how you can find more fish and grass, but for the most part it's about covering water. But if you see some structure down, um, I would definitely fish that first. Um, if you're trying to find fish fast in the grass, um, what's your favorite technique to catch bass out deep? It would have to be the fish head spin. I'm a really big fan of that. I also like the drop shot if I'm fishing brush piles out deep. That's a really good technique. I haven't done it too much um, recently, but drop shot and fish out spin. What is the best type of crankbait you have used? <clears throat> Personally, I like um, like a 6XD by Strike King. That's a really good one. And also some crankbaits with like no rattles, um, depending on how finicky the fish are. And sorry about my voice right now, just the allergies outside are killing me. Um, all stopped up and been sick all week. How do you do all the edits on your videos? I do them all, um, it's nothing I plug in, I do it all by hand, as in I make all the edits. Um, it's really confusing, I couldn't really go into how I do it, um, but I put a lot of work into it, guys. Top search baits, um, I like the fish head spin, jig, um, crank bait, something moving. When you go to a new body of water, what do you look for first to find fish? Um, I honestly, my go-to is pretty much points on rocky points. That's pretty much what I go to first. And if they're back in the pockets, I'll go back in the pockets and I'll look. Um, but for the most part, points. GoPro mounting places and what mounts? <clears throat> I just use the standard mounts. I started using the chest, um, the chesty mount um, that goes on my chest. is pretty sick if you guys saw in my last video. Um, you can see the reel and everything pretty cool. Um, the mounting places, I just have it on the dash of the boat. Um, have some on the front, have one on the back motor. I have them pretty much all over the boat. 
how do you get all this stuff for the giveaways? On um, the GoPro giveaway that we actually paid, um, or I paid out of my own pocket for that, and um, and went towards the giveaway. I just started the page started growing. I got really motivated, and um, I love my fans, guys, and I just like to get something out to you guys. And um, yeah, that was out of my own pocket for the GoPro. But for the St. Croix rods, um, St. Croix is generous enough to donate a couple rods for me to give away. Um, and that kid loves a rod, by the way. A lot of my friends have bought some of the St. Croix rods, and they really enjoy them. How do you find better concentrated areas that hold bigger fish? <sighs> Honestly, it all depends on the time of year. Um, I couldn't really say, like say I'm fishing rocky points. It just depends. Pretty much depth, for the most part, is going to um, really depend on if you're going to catch bigger fish or smaller fish. Say I'm fishing Lanier and I'm out in the summer and I'm throwing up on the bank catching dinks. Um, the bigger ones are going to be out on the brush piles. <clears throat> so it's pretty much depth for the most part. How do you recommend to get started in fishing tournaments? Um, I would start by fishing club tournaments. I don't know if this is directly towards high school. Um, but I would start by fishing club tournaments. And if this is towards high school, start fishing club tournaments. Um, get used to the role and everything. And then if you're going to do high school tournaments, then just jump into the high school. Leave after you've. Um, fish some of the normal tournaments. Sorry, I lost my spot. How did you be, How did you begin to talk to sponsors? Um, one of my first sponsors that kind of launched everything was Saint Croix Rods. Um, we knew some people and then introduced my name to them and just started talking to them and it just kind of grew upon. Some good rod and reels for one hundred and fifty dollars or less. Um, St. Croix has the Mojo Bass series. It's a really great series, and they're around 100 bucks. Um, I know the Cranking Glass Rod, the Mojo Bass series one, has phenomenal guys. I love that rod. Um, for reels, <clears throat> the Abu Garcia Revo SX is a really great, great reel. It's around $150. And also the Abu Garcia Aura is a good reel as well. First thing you look for on a new lake, um, like I said, I really like points on Rocky Points. That's pretty much my go-to. Why did you choose St. Croix to sponsor you, and what makes the rod so special? Um, I really like St. Croix for the sensitivity and the feeling of the rod. It really fits good in my hand. I'm a really comfortable rod. Sensitivity is phenomenal. Um, has you can get them in all different medium, medium heavy, medium heavy, um, fast action. Has all the actions. And what I really like is it has all kinds of series. So if you're on a um, certain price point. You can get a rod over here that's 250 bucks. You can get a rod that's 350. You can get a rod that's 100 bucks. They have pretty much um, a rod for everyone, which I really like. Do you use the Wi-Fi remotes or do you just use your phone to operate the GoPro? Um, I don't use the Wi-Fi remotes to be honest, and I don't really use my phone. I pretty much leave them on <clears throat> the whole time to capture the footage. What's your biggest bass slash fish? and your favorite reel and why. Um, the biggest bass I've caught is probably around 10 to 11 pounds. And my favorite reel is the Re has to be the Revo MGX. It's a really great reel. Um, I absolutely love it. I have many of them. Besides fishing, what other careers would you like to pursue? Um, pretty much stuff in marketing and business. Do you consider yourself famous? Do I consider myself famous? Um, for the most part, no. Um, I would say in the high school fishing industry, my my name is out there, um, but no, I would not consider myself, I guess you could say, famous. Um, my name is out there in the high school industry, though. What slash who got you hooked on the fishing? Um, honestly, I started fishing ponds with my grandpa, and it just got me into fishing um, overall. Do you plan on fishing in college? Yes, I do. And what college or what school would you fish for? Um, I'm on the fish for UGA, um, University of Georgia. That's who I'm planning on fishing for. Have you been to any other countries? No. Do you eat the fish you catch? Um, no, I don't. And um, crazy story, my dad's actually allergic to fish. I know you guys are thinking, he's allergic to fish, that's crazy. Um, I'm being serious, he's allergic to fish. He can't touch him, they can't splash on him. It's like the slime on the fish, he's, like, he's allergic. He, 
they can't get on the skin. He'll break out. I have to take him to the hospital. <clears throat> so I have to take care of all the fish, take them off the hook and everything. Spinning or bait caster? Um, it just depends. If I'm throwing a worm, really light shaky head, I would use a spinning rod. Or like a wacky rig, I would use a spinning rod um, or spinning reel. Anything else, I'd use bait caster. What's your favorite rod and reel combo and what editing software do you use? Y'all make some sick vids. Thanks, man. Um, rod and reel combo, I like the Legend Extreme by Synchro Rods. And if that's a little out of your price range, check out the Legend Tournament. That's a really good rod as well. Um, reel, I like the Revo MGX. Huh, I can't stress that enough, man. I love that reel. All right, I'm going to read this one. <laughs> no, some people think you're a real asshole. Why do you think that? Um, pretty much when people get big on social media, um, the fans start to grow. And not just jealousy that picks up on some things, but it's mostly those um, keyboard warriors out there just um, posting hateful comments and stuff. You guys know how it is. If you go on any popular YouTube channel, they have random dislikes, and the video is good. I would never dislike a video, even if I really didn't like it. I'm just not the type of person to do that or hate on anyone. Um, but some people are like that. As you guys know, if you go on popular YouTube channels, you look at the comments, there's hateful comments. I don't know why. Just, some people want to do that. But that's all right. <clears throat> I'm actually a really good person, guys. Um, like I said, I'm buying the good person stuff to give away to you guys because I love my fans so much. Um, I'm really respectful to you guys. Cameras you use in editing software. On the cameras, I use all GoPros. I'm, I'm filming with a GoPro right now. I have a lot of them. I really love GoPros. Editing software, I use Sony Movie Studio 12, similar to Sony Vegas. How to make a successful channel. I currently have 166 subs, but I want my channel to be more like yours. Um, just be consistent. Keep on posting good content. Um, post fishing videos, fishing reviews, um, stuff that people are going to want, want to see. Um, I want my channel way bigger, man. I know um, your next step is the B channel like mine, but I want mine to be way bigger than where I'm at now. Other than bass, what is your favorite fish to go after? Um, honestly, I mostly just fish for bass for the most part. Um, yeah, I'm mostly bass fisherman. The types of cameras you use, all GoPro. How to quickly establish a pattern. How quickly to establish a pattern quickly. Um, I don't know exactly what you're asking. How to figure out a pattern. I'm just figure out where the fish are at. Say they're located in the back of the pockets or, um, Say, say they're on a transition phase where it's from rock to mud, and they're in the middle where it mixtures. I'm pretty much going to go around and just look for that. But you just got to um, fish other stuff, fish points, fish rock, fish wood. Figure out where the fish are at, duplicate that. <coughs> what kind of mindset do you have? do you put yourself in when fishing to have confidence every cast you make guys you're gonna catch a fish put that in your head you gotta think about that every cast you make you gotta be confident you gotta think there's gonna be a fish biting it you gotta be focused some of my videos I was watching them um, I don't put in like some of the clips but, I mean I was so focused like on the end of my pole I mean I was just dead quiet just focused but mostly focused you gotta think there's gonna be a fish biting it every time If people are so worried about about fish seeing their line, how come bass don't mind the wires on an Alabama rig? Um, for the most part, it's a reaction bite. <clears throat> they see the bait fish going by, and they're just going to go at it really quick. Where can I order your baits? Um, right now, I'm doing it through PayPal. Um, I will have my site up here probably in a few months, but for right now, it's through PayPal. Just message me, and I'll get the baits out to you. Carolina rig versus Texas rig. Carolina rig, you have the leader. In the leader, I like to put in monofil monofilament line um, so it floats. And that's a little bit off the surface of the bottom. The Texas rig is going to be on the bottom. So depending on where the fish are staged, um, we'll decide on a Carolina rig or a Texas rig. What's your personal favorite lure for bass fishing in ponds? For ponds, um, I personally like a wacky rig because in ponds there's a lot of that hydrilla and stuff on the ground. 
and you're gonna want something that's not like a shaky ever it's digging down into it too much so a wacky rig that floats like weightless is really good um, what's your personal favorite lure for a lake I like fish head spin and jig both really good baits have a couple more on this other photo what is the most fish you've caught in one day um, I would say using like a shaky head I caught around 35, 40 fish spots. What is the biggest single factor that can make or break your day on the lake? Um, pretty much not being prepared. Someone kind of answered it on here and that was my um, answer. Um, being not prepared, you need to be prepared. Say you're fishing a tournament, that morning you don't want to be tying your baits on. <laughs> I mean, you need to have it a couple days before or at least the day before the tournament. Have everything ready, have everything tied on right. Just be prepared in general. What settings do you use while filming with a GoPro? I use um, 720p at 60 frames a second. Um, you can go 1080 at 60 frames, but it's just going to use a lot more memory on your card. Um, <clears throat> so I like to use 720 because it uses less memory. But if you're, if you're wanting to do some cool slow-mo action, I would up it to 1080p at 60 frames because they pick it up better and any idea to go 4k honestly there's no point in going 4k I mean yeah I know the GoPro 4 has the 4k feature but um honestly I wouldn't um I wouldn't put it that high and thanks bro you said great page thanks man um, how many rods do you have Mine and my dad's, I would say around 25. Um, we have a lot of rods. Um, I've upgraded plenty of times, so it's not like I use them all at once. Well, all right, guys, that's all the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this second Q&A. And um, I do have a video schedule coming out. It's going to be Tuesday. I'm going to be posting a video at 7 p.m., 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um, Fridays at 9 p.m. And Sundays at 9 p.m. That's going to be the schedule. And if I have extra content to put out, I'm going to fill in those off days um, with some more videos. So at least three videos a week. And I hope you guys are enjoying the activity on my channel. I'm trying to bump it up a lot. At least three videos a week, like I said. Um, just trying to get content out to you guys. I'm jumping more into the YouTube industry. I'm trying to promote um, more videos. I'm pretty big on Facebook. Pretty big on Instagram. And jumping into Twitter as well. I'm going to try to start um, doing stuff on Twitter more. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this second question and answer. Um, I'm sure I'll have one in a few weeks. I'll also be having a giveaway coming out soon. So, thank you guys for watching. Leave any questions below if you have any quick questions. Um, anything about synchro rods, anything about reels, just any simple questions. Um, leave a comment below. Also, I'm looking for a new series. I want to do a weekly series. Um, so, like one video a week could be um, designated to this series. So, if you guys have an idea... Um, for a series let me know leave a comment below please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it click that subscribe button if you haven't already i'll see you guys next time